be approaching. This meeting is being recorded. If you're approaching from the left, okay, you're approaching through values that are smaller than the number you're looking at. That number negative one, yeah. If you're approaching from the left, you're approaching through values that are smaller than the ones you're looking at. Where are the numbers that are smaller than negative one? Well, the only bet you got this right here, right? This area here. You're approaching this way, right? So you're on the graph and you're approaching this way. Okay? Yes. Right here. So you're on this line here, right? Now the limit is going to be the Y value of this. So here I am on the graph and remember this line having an arrow here means that your graph essentially is continuing. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. continuing in this direction, right? Infinitely, yeah. Yeah, it's continuing in Hold on, let me erase. Because it doesn't have a circle, whether open or close. No, no it's, it's not, it's an infinite, the arrow is infinite, but I'm doing yeah. this for a reason. Um, the reason is, is that it's hard for you to see other values. So you have to imagine that other it values. continues this way, right? So, so what's happening is this. Now, so it's going this way, right? So here's my graph, right? And it's going this way. Now I'm approaching, I'm gonna stop at negative one, but it's approaching it's getting closer and closer to um, that negative one on the x-axis. So here I am trucking along, right? What is my y value at this time? Where is this line? Where's the y value? It's Three. In, no, it's two, isn't it? Because this is four, right? This is four where my- Oh uh, yeah, I didn't see the number right, yes. This is three here. So yes, that's two, two is where this, right? So the limit as X approaches negative one from the left would be, so let me put it in a text box for you. The limit as X approaches, and I'm going to use this because I don't have an arrow on my keyboard. The limit as X approaches negative one from the left is of F of X. Of F of X is going to equal Two. two okay yes that makes so, so much sense that's my first limit now the yeah. other one says the limit as x approaches negative one from the right so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna say okay well here's my spotlight right here's my red dot right so here now i'm on this part of the graph right and, and I'm, I'm getting closer and I'm to... approaching negative one now. To approach from the right means to approach, or from the positive side, means to approach through values that are larger. So from the right to the left, that means I'm going this way. Okay. Before yes. I was coming from over here and going this way. Okay. From the left to the right. That was the first part. This one yes. is from the right to the left. So when you see this little symbol that says minus or plus after it, it tells you which side to start on of that number, okay? Oh, okay, got so it. So the limit as X approaches negative one from the right, here's negative one, that's still in the same place, but from the right side of it, which is here. So you're trucking along, you're going to now, you don't want to worry about this part. Some students get confused, like which part do I 
you want to be close to negative one when you do this. Okay. Uh -huh. So you don't worry about this bend. Yes, you have a bend, but you're still on this line, aren't you? You're yes. still on this line that's two. It's just you're on a different part of the segment now. Yeah. Mm. And question. So when I do this, I'm following like you have the circle. I'm tracing through the line, through the graph, not through the X or through the Y. I'm right. tracing. Okay. No, you're following. Okay. So you're following the graph. I'm following the graph. Follow you're following the graph. the graph until you get to whatever X they're talking about. Got it. Okay. So yeah. for example, if I ask you for um, the limit as X approaches four, okay, from the left, here's four, right? There's four, right? There's four there, right? Now I'm approaching four from the left. So I'm going to come. So if I followed it, See, there's more over here, but I'm not even close to four. So I'm not even going to worry about this part, right? Then I go down here to the hole and I'm still not close to four. So I'm not going to worry about it. Then I jump up here. Okay, now I'm getting close to four. Let me oh. go here. And at four, it happens to be this point, okay? And I mm -hmm. happen to be approaching that point. So at this point, okay, now I'm looking at what is my Y coordinate and that is four. Oh, yes. Okay. The mm -hmm. limit, the answer to a limit question, mm -hmm. the answer to a limit question, like here at two, right? Mm -hmm. The answer to a limit question should be a number on the Y axis. Our limits? Yes. Because again, you're looking at the limit of the function, not X, right? You're approaching some X, aren't you? Yes, I'm always approaching from X, yes. You're approaching some X, but the limit, the answer is gonna be, where are you on the Y axis? Got it. Now, if, now if, if I asked you, okay, what is the limit? For example, um, what is the limit as X approaches three? Okay, now that would be a different story, right? For this graph, the limit is it. Let me show you why, because here's three, right? Let me draw three in here. Let me draw it in a different color like red. Here's three right here, right? There's three, okay? Now, if I'm approaching three from the left, from the left, here's the left side of three, right? From the left, here I am, right? And I get uh -huh. closer and closer and closer. Okay, now I get to the hole right here, okay? Now, mm -hmm. just because there's a hole doesn't mean I don't have a limit. Mm. I have a limit because I'm approaching a number, aren't I? And yes. that number happens to be this hole, right? Mm -hmm. Now, where is that on the y-axis? Well, you're at one, aren't you? Yes. So the limit now here, I would say this. I would say, I'll, I'll come back and answer the rest of the parts of the question that you're talking about, but I want to mm -hmm. show you that the limit as X approaches three, again, it's approached, not greater than, but the limit as X approaches three from the left, okay, of F of X, F of X should equal, um, should equal one, right? Now, if I approach from the right, watch this, the limit as X approaches three from the right, so from the positive side of F of X. Now, if I'm approaching three from the right, then what I'm doing here is I'm saying, okay, here's three where the red uh, mark is. 
Mm -hmm. I'm approaching three from the right now. I'm approaching from over here. Okay. Approaching through values that are larger. Well, guess what? The graph is up there. Right. Mm -hmm. So I have to come down essentially. Right. And my limit now is not the whole, is it? No. It's the dot right here. Yes. And that limit is two because that's on the same line. Yes. So that limit is two. Now, why did I point that out? Because I want to show you something about something that we're going to learn later. This is two, right? Now, these limits don't match each other. No. Okay. They don't have to. They don't have to. But when they don't, and they don't here, right? That's one of the ways you get what we call discontinuity. And you can see that in the graph. Look, if I trace it, me, stop. Yeah. Then I have to hop up here yeah they're, um... and so i have a discontinuity at three here we would say now that's mm -hmm. a little bit further on it's probably the next lesson or two down the road but when you have limits that don't match like this when you have when you have ones we, they, we call these one-sided limits when you have left-sided limits and right-sided limits of the same number that don't match, you get discontinuity, all right? Now, then we would say that since, you would say that since the one-sided limits are not the same, right? Right. Yeah. We would say this that the limit as x approaches three, the limit as x approaches three of f of x does not exist. Um, okay. Because you have to have the same. Um, limits for that to happen. Now, it does mean, look at this, and this doesn't have to be true either, but f of three, look at three, there's three, right? f uh -huh. of three is defined, right? Mm -hmm. f of three is defined. It's just, you have to be careful. It's not the whole. It's not this. It's one. It's not one. It's two. It's, oh. it's where the closed circle is. So if I ask you for, if I ask you for f of three, f of three, right? You have to look at the closed circle. F of three would be two. Because this circle here, this f of three here, right? This circle is open. This circle uh -huh. is open. So it's not one, it's where this circle is, where the closed one is, which is two, okay? Oh. All right. And that yes. same thing applies. Let me go back to the actual question that we were trying to answer. Let me um, take a screenshot of this. F of negative, which one? A, B, C. Or so I'm going to, I'm going to go through it again, but that was kind of an example and kind of a digression for you to see. Yeah. So Thank you. now I needed that. Let's go back. So this is negative one. So let's <laughs> remember where we were. Okay. Negative one right here. There's my negative one, right? There it is. And we already did the limit on the left. Okay. So the limit on the left side was from here. And remember I said, imagine that this is yeah. 
he extended this, right? So we extended this just so you could have some space on the left, right? <laughs> so there's my extension, right? And here I am approaching my X value from the left. I'm approaching here from the left. Here I am, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And I'm on, where am I on the Y axis? I'm at two. two. So that limit from the left was two, yeah? Yeah. Then I said, okay, well, let's approach the other way, okay? But make sure that you're close to negative one. So again, let's approach from the right. So we're going to, here's negative one. I'm going to approach from the right. So I'm on this portion of the graph. And as I get close to negative one, where am I on Y? I'm still at two, aren't yeah. I? Yes. So in this case, the, that limit exists because I'm at two, doesn't it? Yes. So then for the next part of it, which asks you for, so here's what Negative. we said. We said the limit, <clears throat> the limit as X approaches, the limit as X approaches negative one from the left, from the left of F of X is equal to two. All right. Yes. And the limit as x approaches negative one. Negative one from the right. Yes. yes. Of f of x is also two. Right. Uh huh. Now, since those one-sided limits match each other, since they're equal to each other, I can then say that the limit, and I can drop the plus minus notation at the end of it, the limit as X approaches one of F of X, then because those one-sided limits are equal, I can say that it's equal to two because they match, okay? If they um, didn't match, then I'd have a problem. And it should be negative one. I made a, I yeah, forgot. Negative. It should be negative. So let me stick that in here. This is, um, <laughs> this is a negative one. We didn't, uh, <laughs> we didn't lose that. Okay, so that's negative one. The limit as X approaches negative one from the left, right, also, and from yeah. Now, the only other part to this is what is what is the actual function value at negative one? F of negative one. This is where you look at the actual function and you evaluate it. So here's negative one right here right here, okay? Yes. And one. go up to the function right there. Uh -huh. And f of negative one is two, isn't it? Yes. So that's equal to two. And um, this, this um, again, it doesn't have to be equal, but if it is, if these are all the same, which they are, they don't have to be because we showed that with three. That's yeah. why I show you that. If they are, then you have something called continuity, which you're, is another lesson that's probably, like I said, coming soon. But you have what we call continuity at that value, which we can see from the graph that it is. It's continuous. Well, if you allow me to do the next one and you just watch over me. Yeah, that's fine. Let me take um, a screenshot here. And I think we should good with that, just so I can get my whole point. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. And that's that's one of those questions that would bother you, like, 
I, I can see how that would be very like, I can't get it. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that could be a could be a problem. All right. Mm. So is this another question or the same question? I'm going to go back to the problem. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, let me get I'm question. already sharing. I don't know. Share. Okay, go ahead and... Um, no, I was sharing. I was sharing um, my screen. Go ahead and share yours. Okay, let me share my screen, but let me... Get yourself a new question first. Yes, I'm going to get that question first. Uh, similar question here. But now make sure you're that. sharing the screen because I don't see anything yet. <laughs> yes, I'm coming. Okay, so here, okay, so we've got a graph. Yeah, I don't even see the whole graph. Let me write the limits down. The limit as X approaches negative one. Okay, so it's kind of the same. The limit as X approaches negative one from the left. Limit as X approaches negative one from the right. The limit as X approaches negative one and the limit, I mean, the function, right? Limit as X, uh, as X approaches negative one and F of negative one. Okay, so now you wanna pop out the graph? Yes, little... let me just write down, I didn't write down my limits. Let me write those down for me so I can explain. So I have A, B, sorry, I should be writing them down as they were. Yeah, take your time, not a problem. Not a problem. <clears throat> just you, the only thing here is just make sure you're approaching from the correct direction when you do it. Yes. But I think I think now you, you have a better shot at understanding it, right? Oh yeah, because yesterday I was like, oh, mm. <laughs> check me. But it was a good refresher, I, I have to admit, it was good. Okay, so, so here, here is the graph. Okay, so first of all, where is one at? So one, and I don't know, I don't know how to use this. I can point, I'm gonna be doing this. Can yeah, you see? Yeah, that's fine, that? that's, that's fine. Where's one? So one is here. That's correct, uh-huh. And okay. the first limit says you're approaching mm -hmm. from the left. So I'm gonna be approaching from this graph. I'm yes. gonna be getting closer to negative get, one. Do me a favor and get on the graph for me, not on the um, axis. Okay, so where are you as you get close to one? Uh, uh, my Y value is one. No, your Y value is only one until you get to the origin, right? Okay, so let me say this again. So I'm coming from this way. You see my arrow? You're, no, you're correct. That's correct. But you stop well, here. here. You stop. So here I'm going, getting closer to negative one. So I stop here. Negative one. Uh huh. And you're approaching. Right. Oh, I was thinking we were approaching one. I'm sorry. We're approaching negative one. The first one a is negative one from the ne from the left. Negative yes. one from the left is one. Yes, that's true. That's so one. here. This one is one. My limit is one. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I'll write the answers right now in a minute. Now, my other is asking, I'm coming a positive one, but I'm going to the left. I'm starting from the right. So, so okay, so the limit says the limit as X approaches negative one or positive one? So it's negative one positive. So I'm starting negative from the right. From the right, okay. Uh -huh. Going to the left to negative one. Uh -huh. So you're approaching from the part where yeah from yeah from here and so i'm getting closer to negative one yeah so, so the limit is one be, yeah it would still be one right mm -hmm. that's still one the next one 
it just says negative one. So this is negative one. Yeah. So that is also one. Yeah. Remember the one-sided limits are equal, right? So yes. since the one-sided limits are equal, you can say that the limit without any distinctions is one. So these are all one. Now, what is f of negative one? So this is negative one. Uh -huh. So it's still one. It's one. Everything is one here. Yeah. Oh my God. I was just having trouble doing this and this. <laughs> I was like, wait, um, what's going on here? But yeah, I'm so happy that there are ones. Your explanation makes so much sense. And thank you for uh what am I doing here? Thank you for okay, check answer. I gotta check the answer and go to the next one. Okay, excellent. And then here. And it should be, oh, you have another one? Yeah, this is B. Because I have to check each answer and then. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And then. No, I just saw you put them all in. So I'm like, why is it making you check it again? <laughs> but I, I get you. I Yeah, different, different interface has a different. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So this is A, this is B, C is also one. They're all ones. Uh -huh. And then, I don't know if that's me. Okay, check answer. And then the last one will be ID. Find the function value, yeah. So that's one as well. And I really wanted to spend a minute here. Next question. Okay, I'm good. Let it's it load fun. so it'll get you credit. Okay, you're done. Save it. Save it. It's loading. Let me see. Yeah, it. let it save it after it loads so that it'll actually save your score. Now okay. go back. See, there you go. Now I'm going to go back to our Zoom here. And yay. Woo. <laughs> that, that did a lot for me. Thank you for just the way I was following my graph. I was not getting it. Yeah. You're breaking up a bit. Yeah, the two answers that you, what was that? Hello? Oh, I'm going to turn off the camera. Maybe that will work. I think you're sharing two um, screens. I see you. Oh, let me. Uh, I'm still sharing. Stop sharing. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what okay. do you think? Um, no, thank you for getting me. Like the way you were doing, like running through the graph, that um, virtually, it really helped me. Yeah, no. Hey, yeah, I, I can imagine that's why I do that.